Diamond Hill. Oh boy, oh boy. This is New England chunk at its finest. Jump. We are in Cumberland, Rhode Island. It is the northern part of the state. There's massive glacier deposits up here. So it is pretty rocky. There's lots of different terrain uh, here. There's two sides to this park. I'm kind of parked in the middle in the parking lot. I haven't decided which side I'm going to go to yet, but I'm pretty excited to take you on a ride with me here because it's been probably a solid like year since I've visited Diamond Hill. So fun, fun place. Lots of different terrain. Let's go on a ride. So we are on the climb now. And I think I'm getting there. Underestimated how hot and heavy this full face is. Definitely haven't worn it in like two solid years. But if I recall correctly, this place used to be a ski mountain of sorts. So it's pretty vertical. Man, am I hurting. That was not a smart warm up. I think this is actually the true peak right here. Here I am at the top of the, I don't know if it'd be left or right side. It kind of just depends on how you're looking at the park, but it's the side of the park with the actual park. The other side, you kind of have to like skirt through some people's, feels like backyards to get into. But this side, from what I would call, has a lot of rock. It's pretty rock gardeny, so I'm pretty stoked. Pretty excited about that. All right, let's hit it. So I think maybe this is where I want to go. All right. Oh yeah. Some rocks for sure. Kushkor would be a great idea when riding Diamond Hill. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like some sort of rock jump. Oh boy, oh boy. That is some rock. This is New England chunk at its finest. Oh God. Just gotta hold on and let the bike go. So my microphone actually just cut out here. Uh, that red jiggly cord you're seeing in the left hand side, that is a uh, cable for my microphone. The reason I'm wearing a full face is because I was putting my microphone inside my helmet and mounting my camera to the chin strap for kind of a different feel. So far it worked out pretty well, except for right here. It did not happen again throughout the rest of the day, so that's good, but uh, I apologize. All right, so I always forget about this. This is a parking area right here. Got this sign here, and there's actually trail access this way. A long time ago, you would kind of cut through some driveway over there. So I totally forget that this is the actual way to access this without invading anybody's privacy. So we are now on the other side of the park where there is a lot more trail. I 
am not a fan of wearing a full face. Like, it's not worth it for these camera angles. I hope they're, I hope they're actually coming out good because this sucks. Settling uphill with this just is miserable. But after going uphill here, I'm seeing so many like trails coming down. Tons of rock rollers. So we're gonna see if we can hit some of them. So we are looking at Clyde Frog, I believe. And look at this muck. This is one messy, messy ride. Oh, I guess I am going the right way. I thought I was going the wrong way. Kind of bucks you. Oh, Clyde Frog. Headed back up this time. I think I'm gonna go for Chuck Norris. Now there's a ton of more trails here, but I'm just kind of focusing on like the the main downhill ones that I'm aware of. All right, Chuck Norris off the top here. This place is a mud capital. Oh yeah, that was, that was bad. So the minute you get off the rocks, you're just in mud. A little gap right there. Oh boy. Oh my God. Roller, another roller, jump. Okay, now for the bigger roller here. Oh yeah. And then a bit of a jump. So fun, so freaking fun. It's not over yet. If you were to ask me, Jordan, why do you mountain bike? What is the, what's the driver behind that? I would probably tell you Diamond Hill is one of those, one of those drivers. For some reason, this place is so tech, but so flow all at the same time. And it's just, you don't have to climb a mountain to get to it. It's all right there, super accessible. And it's in a really populated area, which is freaking sweet. So, Diamond Hill, very short, very short and minimal uh, trails that I rode today. This place has a ton to offer, but I'm just sort of like a lunch break, so I only got like about an hour in. So, yeah, thanks for watching.